Let's just stand and say and, and, and tell God that it's all that matters in our life. Just stand in your phone, your feet, and tell God that it's all that matters. It's all that matters in your life. Let's stand as we welcome the preacher. Just tell God that it's all that matters in your life. Tell God that it's all that matters in your life. Nothing else matters in your life. It's all that matters in your life. You are all that matters to you. You worship me, You are all that matters to you. Hallelujah. Baba, tunakushukuru, tunasangani asante. Wewe tie Mungu wetu, wewe tie baba yetu. Huwa tuna mwingine kimbilio letu, tegemeo letu, msaada wetu wewe Bwana. Unakuhitaji katika siku ya leo Bwana. Mungu wa kinywa chako ukaambia baba unamhitaji. Ambia Mungu roho yako inamhitaji. Hakuna kitu naweza bila Bwana. Baba tunakuhitaji, tunakuridia. O malika taba yanda la babuzi. He praso kotorika tu shalika tabaria. Baba tunakuhitaji kama kanisa baba tunakuhitaji baba tunakuhitaji santo tunakuhitaji wewe hakuna mwingine bwana mtakatifu ni wewe cho we worship you father we say thank you holy spirit of god tunakuhitaji there's nothing we can minister without you we worship you we worship you take over father take over holy spirit of god thank you jesus in Jesus name we pray amen, amen. pick your praise and worship my coffee man hallelujah hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe hii ni mzuri asubuhi ukitembea bwana yesu asifiwe hallelujah Bwana Yesu asipokee sifa ndani yangu nasikia machozi inamwagika Kwa nini kuna, kuna ujumbe nilikuwa nimetayarisha hapo lakini Mungu amenipatia ujumbe mwingine na wakati roho wa Mungu amekuwa akinipeleka kuhusu hiyo ujumbe my heart is bleeding Bwana Yesu asifiwe Kwa nini the topic is preparing the bride of Christ Bwana Yesu asifiwe Jameni keyboard keyboard Bwana uh, Yesu asifiwe Kuna mambo mingi jameni tunaishi katika hii dunia nikana kwamba we are confident about tomorrow Yani kesho we are sure of tomorrow Bwana Yesu asifiwe I want you to, to erase that in your mind today Na ukaambia Mungu ya kwamba sikia leo katika haya masaa ninaishi Bwana haya ndio ambayo umenipatia Bwana Yesu asifiwe katika maisha yetu tunafaa kukaa tukiwa tumejipanga ni kwa sababu kuna watu wengi ambao wamepangia siku ya kesho ama siku ya leo lakini hawajaiona Bwana Yesu asifiwe lakini nakucha nikuulize siku ya leo je umejitayarisha kumpokea Bwana Yesu haleluya Bwana Yesu asifiwe prepare him for the bride Bwana Yesu asifiwe je umejipanga haleluya Revelation chapter 19 I thank you Holy Spirit of God Revelation chapter 19 verse 7 says Preparing the bride of Christ Hallelujah We are the bride that Christ is come Let us be glad and rejoice and let us give honor to him For the time has come for the wedding feast of the lamb and his bride has prepared herself She has been given the finest of pure white linen to wear for the fine linen represents the good deeds hallelujah of God's holy people and the angel said to me write this blessed are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the lamb and he had it these are true words that come from God yani hayo ni maneno ambayo itakuja kutimia na imetoka katika kinywa cha Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Matthew 22 verse 11. Are you chosen? But when the king came into the meet, uh, uh, in to meet the guest, 
he noticed a man who wasn't wearing the proper clothes for wedding. Friend, he asked, how is it that you are here without wedding clothes? But the man had no lip right. Then the king said to his aides, bind the, his hands and feet and throw him into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of tea for many are called but few are chosen Bonesu was few wengi wameitwa lakini few are chosen ni kidogo wamechaguliwa Bonesu was few ambi auliza jirani are you called or you are chosen uliza jirani yako are you chosen Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ndugu mpendwa, mahali ambapo tumesoma neno inasema ya kwamba ni wakati moja ambapo uh, uh, one king aliweza kuprepare a uh, 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 inaitwa nini? a uh, 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 arusi. Na neno inasema ya kwamba sijasoma hapo juu ndio nakuelezea vile inasema. Lakini neno inasema ya kwamba wakati ile arusi imeandalika na kila kitu kikawekwa juu ya meza na katuma watu wakaende pale kama vile tunaendanga kuhubiri pale kwa, kwa street evangelism na kawambia ya kwamba ebu endeni mahali pale sasa mkaalike watu wale ambao nilikuwa nimewalika katika hii arusi ili waje kwa sababu prayer to that alikuwa ametuma invitation bwana Yesu asifiwe lakini kwa masikitiko makubwa neno inasema ya kwamba na wakati wale watu walienda mahali pale neno inasema ya kwamba wale watu huu wa invited ambao walitumiwa barua waliweza kuwashika wakawaua bwana Yesu asifiwe wengine wakatumwa bado wakaweza kuangamiza na wakakataa kuingia katika ile arusi bwana Yesu asifiwe lakini neno inasema ya kwamba na huyu mfalme akawaambia sasa endeni katika street katika barabara katika pembeni katika vicholocholo yote ambaye mtampata mahali pale mkamweze kumwalika katika hii arusi bwana Yesu asifiwe ndugu mpendwa hivyo ndivyo ambavyo kumeendelea katika dunia siku hizi neno vile imesema ya kwamba ni watu wengi ambao walikuwa na mwito neno inasema ya kwamba Yesu alikuja kwa sababu ya wayahudi lakini wale wakaweza kumkataa hivyo ndivyo watu wengi katika ulimwengu siku ya leo wameitwa na Mungu lakini wamemkataa ndipo sasa unaona Yesu ya kwamba anatutuma katika street katika vijiji tukaende kuhudhuria watu wakaweze kumpokea katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Are you called or are you chosen? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Na neno inasema hapo mahali ambapo tumemalizia ya kwamba kuna mtu mmoja alipatikana katika ile arusi akiwa hana nguo. Katika historia ya arusi wakati ule kulikuanga na mavazi. Ni kama vile unaona katika mazishi watu wanavanga nguo za black. Lakini siku zile kulikuanga na garments specifically za arusi. Na neno inasema ya kwamba wakati mwe, mwenye arusi alikuja akaona mtu ambaye hana nguo za arusi na akamuuliza rafiki umeingia hapa namna gani jameni hakuweza kumjibu Bwana Yesu asifiwe na neno inasema ya kwamba na akamshika akaambia wale wafanyikazi ambao ni malaika kwa siku hizi wakamshike na wakamweke huko nje katika moto ambao atasiaga meno Bwana Yesu asifiwe ndugu mpendwa uko mali hapa pengine unakuchanga kanisani kila siku usije ukawe kama yule mtu neno inasema ya kwamba hakuwa na mavazi katika safari ya juu mbinguni kuna mavazi ambayo unafaa ukawe nayo na ni mavazi ya utakatifu Bwana Yesu asifiwe ndugu mpendwa watu wengi wanacheza na dunia wanacheza na mambo ya dunia na kumkataa Yesu lakini asubuhi ya leo Yesu anatukumbusha ya kwamba you aja na anasema ya kwamba tuandae mavazi yetu yawe mafasi masafi katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana Yesu asifiwe haleluya watu wameitwa lakini wamkataa ni kwa, kwa nini kwa sababu raha za dunia zimekuwa nyingi Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na hawa watu wengine wakasema ya kwamba wacha ni ende honeymoon nimeoa juzi. Mwingine akasema ya kwamba wacha nikajaribu punda yangu nimeinunua juzi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
ndugu wapendwa ninatumwa niwaambie ya kwamba hii sio wakati wa kuenda na kupambana na kushughulikia mambo ya dunia hii ni wakati ambapo wa kuangalia kama mavazi yako ni masafi ninakwambia ya kwamba hata kama unafanya biashara hata kama unafanya kazi yako siki ile ni wakati ambapo wa kuangalia mavazi yako ni kwa sababu Yesu anarudi Yesu anarudi na nakujia wale ambao wako na mavazi Bwana Yesu asifiwe Asubu ya leo Yesu anatupenda. Haleluya. Mashaka tayaba. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Watu wengi wanakufa sana siku hizi. Lakini katika kilio changu ni ya kwamba dugu wanakufa namna gani? Wakati Yesu anasema anarudi. I always say that all your days are recorded in the book. Na wakati ambapo siku zako zitafika mwisho hata homa itakuchukua. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So unasikia mtu anaanguka bathroom tu na anaenda. Mtu anajikwaa. Juzi mwingine na umwa na nyuki anakufa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sio nyuki ni wakati wake umefika. Lakini swali ni je, wakati ule wakati huyo huo ukifika, je, umejiandaa? Ni vyema Mungu anatukumbusha sikia leo. Hata kama tunajenga kanisa, hata kama tunajenga manyumba, hata kama tuko katika kazi, hata kama tuko kila mahali tuko. Yesu anatukumbusha ya kwamba kwa sababu ya upendo alio nao katika maisha yetu, anatukumbusha ya kwamba anakuja na nakujia mwili ambao ni msafi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Neno inasema katika Revelation. Hapo tumesema Revelation chapter 19 ya kwamba Yesu Kristo anakuja Haleluya The bride has prepared herself Anasema ya kwamba na bibi alusi amejipanga vilivyo she has been given the finest of few of pure white linen to wear for the fine linen represent good things Bwana Yesu asifiwe Haya mavazi ni matendo mazuri jameni ambayo tunafanya katika hii dunia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yaani watu siku hizi hawaogopi Mungu, hawaogopi Mungu. Katika matendo yao, matendo ya watu ni machafu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Vinywa hazina breki. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Masengenyo usiku na mchana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Watu wako na umalaya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini wapendwa nakuja niwaambie ya kwamba yote ambaye atakaye ingia juu mbinguni ni mtu ambaye mavazi yake ni masafi lakini neno inasema ya kwamba na yule jamaa akatupwa nje ninakuja nikukumbusha ya kwamba wakati ambapo mavazi yako hayatakuwa masafi wewe ndiye mtu wa kutupwa nje katika jina la Yesu Kristo lakini asubuhi ya leo kwa sababu ya upendo huyu Mungu anatukumbusha ya kwamba mavazi yetu tuyaweke yakiwa tayari Bwana Yesu asifiwe na hapo ndipo inanikumbusha ya kwamba kuna hadithi moja katika a uh, uh, Biblia inaongea kuhusu uh, the, 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 the ten virgins Bwana Yesu asifiwe Matthew chapter 25 25 verse 1 The kingdom of heaven will be like the ten uh, bridesmaids who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The five who were foolish didn't take enough oil for their lamps. But the other five uh, were wise enough to take along extra oil. When the bridegroom was delayed, they all came drowsy and fell asleep. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. As you are preparing for for Christ, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna mambo ambayo tunafaa kuangalia katika maisha yetu. Jambo la kwanza tumeona ya kwamba tuweke mavazi yetu yakiwa masafi. Na neno imesema katika Revelation ya kwamba mavazi yetu ni matendo yetu. Tuangalie matendo yetu. Vile unaishi na jirani, vile unaishi katika kazini, vile unakaa mahali popote pale huko, je, matendo yako ni masafi? Na hapa neno inasema ya kwamba na hawa uh, uh, wanadada wana wali wa, wa, kumi watano walikuwa welevu na wale wengine walikuwa wajinga. Kwa nini hawa welevu? Neno inasema ya kwamba na hawa welevu walibeba mafuta ya kutosha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mafuta ya kutosha ni kumaanisha ya kwamba katika ulimwengu ya kiroho wewe uko sawa and the anointing is okay. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
wewe umeingia katika maombi kama ni katika neno uko sawa Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo neno inasema ya kwamba hapo ukimalizia neno inasema na wale wengine wakati kengele ililia kwa sababu walikuwa nasikia kengele kama watu wakiwa kidhurai nini ilikuwa inapigwa ya kwamba bibi harusi amefika na neno inasema ya kwamba wakati yotarumbeta ililia na wale wakawaomba ya kwamba at midnight they were arose by shout look the bridegroom is coming come out and meet him all the bridesmaids got up and prepared their lamps then the five foolish one asked other uh, the others please give us some of your oil because our lamps are going out but the others replied we don't have enough for all of us go and shop and uh, buy for yourselves bwana yesu asifiwe neno inasema ya kwamba na hawa wanadada wakawaomba wale welevu we, we ya kwamba tafadhali tusaidie na mafuta yako kidogo kwa sababu bibi harusi anakuja na wale wakakataa bwana yesu asifiwe na hapa nimepata ufunuo ya kwamba katika nyumba ya Mungu kuna wale ambao wako mahali pale they are taking others to heaven wako mahali pale wanazindikisha wengine kwenda juu mbinguni na katika mahali pale if you are not careful they are going to pull you down bwana yesu asifiwe nilikuwa najiuliza ya kwamba na kama wangewapatia haya mafuta ni kumaanisha ya kwamba hawa wote sababu walikuwa watano watano kila mtu agawie wake digawie Charles baba Jose agawie e, e, nani ni kumaanisha ya kwamba hawa watu wote wange miss hii harusi bwana yesu asifiwe lakini hawa wengine wakawaambia ya kwamba endeni mkatafute mafuta yenu bwana yesu asifiwe ninakusi katika siku ya leo safari ya kwenda mbinguni ni mbali na neno inasema ya kwamba wale ambao walikuwa na mafuta ya kutosha ndio ambao waliweza kumlaki mwana kondoo ninakuja nikwambia ya kwamba wale ambao wamekoma kilo na wamechazwa na roho mtakatifu na wamechazwa na nguvu za maombi hao ndio ambao wataweza kustahimili siku za mwisho ni kwa sababu katika siku za mwisho kutakuwa na mateso mengi kutakuwa na majaribio mengi katika jina la Yesu Kristo haleluya shetani ameinuka katika siku za mwisho na technology ameinuka na dhambi zingine zinakaa nzuri mbele ya watu lakini mwishoe ni kilio bwana yesu asifiwe unasikia watu wanashinda kuambiwa kuhusu mavazi unasikia watu wanashinda kuambiwa simameni vizuri bwana yesu asifiwe lakini mbele ya watu mnaona tu ni mitindo ya dunia ni fashion bwana yesu asifiwe but those are the tricks that the devil is using to take many to hell bwana yesu asifiwe na ndipo neno inasema ya kwamba na wale ambao watakuwa na mafuta ya kutosha wale ambao watakuwa na roho wa Mungu anatembea na wao hao ndio wataweza kustahimili mpaka siku ya mwisho kwa sababu jameni nakuja nikwambia ya kwamba kama una nguvu za roho mtakatifu ndani yako kuna dhambi ambazo shetani ataleta mbele zako na wewe utakuwa unaona kwa sababu uko kwa mwili na damu unasema karibu Bwana Yesu asifiwe lakini mwishoe ni kilio Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Kwa hivyo, wacha tukue watu ambao wanatembea na Roho Mtakatifu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Uh, Matthew 24, how to prepare for the bride. Matthew 24 verse 45. Ukirudi tu hapo juu kidogo. A faithful sensible servant is one who to whom the master can give responsibility bwana yesu asifiwe wewe ni mtu responsible bwana yesu asifiwe wewe unaweza kuaminika bwana yesu asifiwe katika nyakati hizi za kumgochea bwana yesu you need to be responsible bwana yesu asifiwe that is another point number three. be responsible na hapo neno inasema ya kwamba kuhusu mtu ambaye alienda safari ya mbali na kaachia watu kazi na kaachia manager kazi zao neno inasema ya kwamba na hapo mwisho hapo ndipo inasema sasa a faithful sensible servant is to whom master can give the responsibility to manage his other household servants and feed them bwana yesu asifiwe hiyo verse iko na mambo mingi sana bwana yesu asifiwe ya kwanza ni faithful haleluya 
Na pili tumeona ni responsible. Katika safari ya kwenda jumbinguni lazima ukue mtu wa kuaminika. Haleluya. Katika kazini. Wanaeswa sivyo sababu naongea hizo sana sababu ndizo siku hizi kila mtu anatafuta kazi. Wanaeswa sivyo. Kila mtu anakimbia kutafuta kazi. Mtu hata achukua nafasi ya ulize mtu hatima yangu Mungu ni gani? Wanaeswa asifiwe. Je, umenita katika biashara? Umeniita katika wakati kitu kingine? Wanaeswa asifiwe. But according to what you are doing. Wanaeswa asifiwe. Are you faithful enough ya kuwa trusted na mambo ama na vitu za ufalme? Ama kama ni familia, wewe ni dada, wewe ni mwanaume, wewe ni kijana. Je, katika hiyo ndoa wewe uko mwaminifu? Wanaeswa asifiwe. Because the Bible says unaweza kuwa unakaa pamoja na watu ambao wanasema Bwana Yesu asifiwe na huyu Yesu hautamuona. Neno inasema ya kwamba walienda kununua mafuta wakirudi. Neno inasema ya kwamba walipata mlango imefungwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Katika safari ama katika kujiandaa kumpokea huyu Bwana Yesu sio kwa mdomo tu tunasema ya kwamba tumeokoka na tunaenda jumbinguni. One thing you need to be faithful. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama ni kazi ya Mungu kama pasta, je, am I faithful? Kama wewe ni mwimbaji, are you faithful? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama ni kitengo hata kama ni kuosha hii kanisa, je, are you faithful? Kama ni kazini, kama wewe ni wale wanaangojea tu boss atoke, achomoke tu hivi. Kai. Mungu ajaribu tu atoke tu hivi. Umoshe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na hapo 45 hapo chini ndio inasema husu watu kama wale. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So let us be faithful. Hallelujah. And when we are faithful, we are going to see Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Responsible. Nilikuwa nimeenda mbele kwanza. Katika maisha yetu, we need to be responsible. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. In each and every area that you are, unafaa kuwa mtu wa kuajibika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na kuajibika ni kitu kama gani? Wakati ambapo umeachiwa jambo fulani, wakati huo if anything goes wrong Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bible study nilisema juzi ya kwamba Adam Mungu alikuja akauliza Adam kwa nini Adam ulikula tunda akasema ni bibi bibi akamuuliza kwa nini ulikula tunda ni nyoka nyoka kwa sababu alikuwa anajua i want to take these people out aka all akasema yes Bwana Yesu asifiwe sababu alijua ya kwamba mambo yake yote imekamili vile alikuwa anataka imekamilika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So, to be responsible it is to own up for your mistakes ama ile kitu imefanyika. Una agree na unasema yes nilikosea lakini sitarudia. Siki ya leo naonanga tungekuwa bado in the garden of Eden. Kama Adam angesimama tu hivi, aseme yes, Mungu ninakubali tumekosea lakini tusamehe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hiyo ndiyo safari ya kwenda chumbinguni lakini sio kukauka katika moyo Bwana Yesu asifiwe mpaka mtu anashinda huyu ni nani niliajiri katika kazi Bwana Yesu asifiwe huyu ni mtoto gani nilizaa Bwana Yesu asifiwe huyu ni bibi ni bwana gani huyu nilihoa kichwa roho ni ngumu kama mawe Bwana Yesu asifiwe when we go astray let us be responsible Bwana Yesu asifiwe na hapo ndipo nilisoma verse ya kwanza siku ya leo Psalms 51 nikasema ya kwamba hiyo ni habari ambayo wakati Daudi alianguka akachukua yuria akafanya vile alifanya neno inasema ya kwamba Psalms 51 sasa ni wakati ambapo alikuwa ana na Mungu akamsamee Bwana Yesu asifiwe ndugu wapendwa sio ya kwamba tuko watakatifu the bible says in the book of romans ya kwamba na tukisema hatuna dhambi tutakuwa tunadanganya Bwana Yesu asifiwe na kwa hivyo As long as we are walking on this earth as long as uko na mwili na nyama Bwana Yesu asifiwe hii mwili inalewa na dhambi inapenda sana mambo maovu na ikifanya vile inasikianga mzuri sana Bwana Yesu asifiwe but when that moment comes just know that you are preparing for someone who is coming just repent and be responsible for whatever you have done Bwana Yesu asifiwe ni kwa sababu wakati unajikausha hiyo kadambi kanakaa ndani kanakolea shetani uanga amemark hiyo mahali na akasema hiyo ni mshale namba 1 ana deposit katika moyo wako Bwana Yesu asifiwe many marriages are bleak uh, uh, zinavunjika kwa nini ni kwa sababu watu wako na mambo ambayo iko ndani 
na sasa wakati tu utakanyanga mtu tu hivi unapata mambo ambayo ameficha ndani yake inaanza kulipuka bwana yesu asifiwe unapata kwamba ni chakula ina chumvi lakini hiyo ndoa imevunjika sio chumvi ni kwa sababu there is a time that you refuse to be responsible and to honor for your mistakes bwana yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo katika safari ya kwenda chumbi nguni let us be responsible bwana yesu asifiwe majaribio jameni lazima itakucha hakuna mtakatifu anatembea katika hii dunia Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yesu alisema ya kwamba na atakaye tembea tu hivi, aangalie na atamani. Yeye na mtu amefanya kitendo cha ngono ni the same. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni mara ngapi umetembea ukatamani? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni mara ngapi umefikiria mtu maovu? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na hiyo ni tambi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So, let us be responsible. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ambie jirani be responsible. Be responsible. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Good managers. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ukiangalia tu hapo inaongea tuko 45. A faithful, sensible servant is the one who the master can give the responsibility of managing. The word managing. Manager. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Katika ufalme wa Mungu, Mungu ataki watu ambao ni kama watoto ama watoto wa kiroho. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mtoto mtu ako na miaka 50 lakini katika mawazo yake na katika mambo ambayo anafanya mambo ya kifalme yeye na mtoto ni kitu the same Bwana Yesu asifiwe watu wamekataa kukomaa kiroho Bwana Yesu asifiwe unapata ya kwamba tabia ambazo nilifanya nikiwa na mwaka moja wakati niliokoka hata nikiwa mzee na miaka ishirini katika wokovu unapata ya kwamba bado those are the things that you are continuing to do Bwana Yesu asifiwe katika ufalme wa Mungu you need to be a good manager of yourself. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Katika mambo yako unafaa kukua mtu ambaye anajimanage. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Pia in the area of management if it is a, a position that you have given kama ndugu yetu ako kwa piano. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You need to be a good manager of yourself. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni kwa sababu safari ya kwenda chumbi nguni sio karibu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe ni mbali na neno imesema ya kwamba ni kwa wale ambao wamevaa mavazi na mavazi ndiyo yale ambayo ninakusomea siku ya leo ya kwamba katika ufalme you need to be a good manager of yourself Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa sababu hata wewe acha nikuulize siku ya leo tuseme ya kwamba wakati uliokoka ulikuwa unasumbukana na katambi Bwana Yesu asifiwe tuseme kama dhambi ya umalaya Bwana Yesu asifiwe ama pombe Tuseme ile wakati kama mimi nilikuanga mrefu sana. Siki leo hata tuko na mshahidi katika nyumba anaweza anaweza confirm ya kwamba hiyo ni ukweli. But now upate Dennis after 20 years ya wokovu bado ninachenga roho hivi naenda hapo nje na waka. Ama saa zile atuko karibu na ye. na ji, eh? Ama saa zile nimetravel nyumbani peke yangu naenda huko inakuwa sasa lazima nigonge kamoja. Jameni Let us be good managers. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuwe kuna mtu, kuwe pasa hayuko. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uwe uko na tabia na mienendo mizuri because the Bible says kuna watu wanatuangalia. Kila mtu ako na malaika. Kuambie siku ile kama hujua hiyo. Kuna malaika anatembeanga na wewe kila siku. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kila kitu unatenda kama ni kizuri, huyo malaika ni wa kurekod anaandika. Pastor Moi Ukisaidia yatima anaandika. Ukifanya kitu anaandika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And that is why sasa unapatanga wakati unaomba Mungu, wanachomwanga barua zako, wanaangalia vitabu zako. Oh, huyu alitenda. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Anafaa kujibiwa. But sio hapo niko. Niko about managing yourself. Hata kama uko peke yako, ni matendo gani ambayo unafanya? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati ambapo pasta ayuko karibu ni nini kile ambacho unafanya siku hizi watu wanaogopa pasta kuliko Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe na kuitaita dadi dadi Bwana Yesu asifiwe Haleluya na ukisikia kwanza mtu anaitana dadi mchunguze manage manage yake vile iko Bwana Yesu asifiwe huyo ni mtu anataka kukufurahisha hapa but ukienda huko kwa kijiji watu hata wanamuonanga wanapoeka Bwana Yesu asifiwe katika mali uko katika plot Bwana Yesu asifiwe unaishi na watu namna gani katika 
Asante ni wakati unatokea. Watu wanakujua namna gani? Barua yako inasomeka namna gani? Yesu Kristo anaonekana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Be a good manager in each and every position ambayo umepatiwa kama ni kanisani kama ni kazini. Fanya hiyo kazi kama ni Yesu unafanyia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na hao ndio watu wa kwenda juu bikoni. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Feeding others. Hallelujah. If the master returns and finds us, uh, sorry, the responsibility of managing is other household servants and feeding them. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yaani anachukua jukumu la kucontrol kuona pia nyumba anaitawala vizuri na pia anaendelea kulisha wengine wala kwa pale. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Katika nyumba ya Mungu you should grow to a level ambapo kama umeokoka siku ya leo na wewe kesho unafaa kuhubiria mtu ama kulisha mtu neno. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Safari ya kwenda juu mbinguni si ati ni survival for the fittest. Ukifika mbinguni utaulizwa umekuja na nani? Neno inasema ya kwamba we were given the mandate of winning and making disciples. Matthew 28:19. Kwa hivyo kiti ya kwanza wakati utafika juu mbinguni utaulizwa umekuja na nani? Ukiangalia nyuma unapata uko peke yako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Neno inasema ya kwamba kukue watu wa kulisha wengine. Katika shughuli zako za kila siku, make sure that umelisha watu neno. Umeshia hii injili at your own level. Kama ni katika kazini. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sio lazima ufungue maandishi. Waambie Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na neno inasema ya kwamba wale ambao wako na dhambi wataenda kuzimu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hapana, let our actions preach. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna venye Lois unaweza attend customer hivi akikuangalia anaona Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And that is why unapatanga watu wale ambao wanauza vitu kama ni town. Customer akikuja mahali pale hawezi rudi, hawezi, hawezi hama. Kwa nini? Because hata vinye unamhudumia, eh ana feel love. Anaisikia upendo. Lakini sasa watu ambao wameokoka use the love of Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na wakati ambapo unahudumia watu ni kama unahudumia Kristo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe huyo mtu katika maisha yake itafika wakati sasa ikifika wakati wa kumhubiria ataona ya kweli eh na moyo inawanda basi wanga unafanya kazi vizuri hivyo injili haitakuwa ngumu lakini sasa kama iko contrary bwana Yesu asifiwe hakuna word encouragement unaweza ambia mtu bwana Yesu asifiwe ni kama wengine ukikaa na watu wanakuambia mimi hata nimekiva hapo na maisha unaona vile hali iko ngumu mimi sijui sasa hata nitafanya namna gani hii magonjo yamenifinyilia ukikaa karibu na mtu kama huyu run away bwana Yesu asifiwe huyo mtu hakuna kitu kizuri ana deposit katika maisha yako full of negativity bwana Yesu asifiwe and the holy spirit akaangi ndani ya roho kama hiyo bwana Yesu asifiwe yani hakuna kitu kizuri kinaweza toka ndani yako bwana Yesu asifiwe wacha kile ambacho kinatoka ndani yetu kikuwe ni kitu ambacho kinaweza lisha watu wengine bwana Yesu asifiwe multiply their talent and their gift bwana Yesu asifiwe katika Matthew 25 verse 16 then he who has received five talents went and traded with them and made other five talents and likewise he who had received two gained two more bwana Yesu asifiwe hapo ni wakati ambapo walipewa taranta sitasoma hiyo story yote lakini neno inasema ya kwamba na yule ambaye alipewa mingi alienda akazizalisha bwana Yesu asifiwe na yule mwingine alipewa mbili akaizalisha bwana Yesu asifiwe katika maisha yako ni nini kile ambacho Mungu ameweka ndani yako unachoweza kukitumia katika nyumba ya Mungu ama katika ufalme wa Mungu kile ambacho Mungu amekupatia katika hii dunia sio chako sio my, me myself and I bwana Yesu asifiwe ni cha wewe na ufalme wa Mungu. Ufalme wa Mungu ni jirani. Ufalme wa Mungu ni mtu mwingine. Ukipata mtu wako na shida, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You are vetible. Mtu anakuomba tu chakula na uko nao na hauwezi ukampatia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Safari ya kwenda juu mbinguni ni ya watu ambao those who are can multiply what God has given them. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Make use of the gift that God has given you in the kingdom of God. Number six, they are submissive like sheep. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Matthew 25:33. 
and he will set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on the left. When Yesu asifu, apo Biblia ijasema shida ya mbuzi ni gani? Na kondoo. Lakini pia sisi ni watu ambao wamekaa na mbuzi na wamekaa na kondoo. When Yesu asifiwe, safari ya juu mbinguni inasemekana si ya watu ambao wanakaa kama mbuzi. Kwa nini? Sababu mbuzi zitapelekwa katika mkono wa kushoto na mkono wa kushoto unajua ni kuzi ni kuzimu ndiposa nikaangalia kondoo inakaa na mna gani kondoo ukiwekelea kijiti hivi iruke ya kwanza ya pili kama zilikuwa kumi ukiondoa kijiti hata zile zingine zitakuja zikiruka wanesu asifiwe kondoo ainanga fujo ati imeruka ruka inaenda kule inatulia kama ni kanyasi inakula inakula pole pole ike hinyagia wanesu asifiwe lakini mbuzi ni kuruka ruka wanesu asifiwe Buzi ni kule, buzi ni kelele, zingine hata azikuli. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Azikuli kwa amani kwa sababu ya kelele. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na ndiposa inasema ya kwamba let us be submissive kama kondoo. Na neno inasema ya kwamba na Yesu kama kondoo alienda katika msalaba na akuweza kungangana ama kukataa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. No matter what we go through. Hallelujah. We need to have a heart ya kuvumilia kama kondoo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yesu ni mwana kondoo. Alitulia na katulia wakati alikuwa anapitia hayo mateso. Ni kwa nini? Kwa sababu out of those sufferings alijua ya kwamba victory is coming. Haleluya. Na sisi kama wa Kristo wakati ambapo tunapitia majaribio, wakati ambapo tuko na uchungu ndani ya meyo yetu, sio wakati wa kujipigania, sio wakati wa kungangana ama kuanza kuonyesha yule mtu hata mimi ni mwanamume hata mimi niko na pesa hata mimi ninaweza bwana Yesu asifiwe ni wakati wa kunyenyekea no matter what you go through eh, on Wednesday tulisema ya kwamba he who is afflicted let him pray if you are going through afflictions kama unaumia just pray and the bible says that the afflictions will be lifted bwana Yesu asifiwe ikatuambia ya kwamba sio wakati wa kuweza kujipigania bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa sababu mbinu ya shetani ni ya kwamba for instance wakati mtu anakutukana anataka ulisiprocate muanze kutukanana na ukianza kutukanana umeanguka mtiani na shetani amepata mlango umefungua mlango amefanya ile kitu alikuwa anataka kufanya katika maisha yako and that is why Jesus know knew that akianza kujipigania katika kazi ya kwenda katika msalaba hata timiza destiny yake Bwana Yesu asifiwe Hivyo hivyo ndivyo watu wengi wanakosa destiny zao kwa sababu ya kujipigania, kukataa kukuwa hambo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Neno inasema ya kwamba kondoo ziteko mkono wa kulia na mbuzi mkono wa kushoto. Wale ambao wananyenyekea katika hii maisha, watu ambao hawashindani, watu ambao hawajilipishi, ndio ambao neno inaongea kuhusu mkono wa kulia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let us be humble. In each and every situation that we are going through, afflictions will always be there in life. Mukumia kuteswa kutokanwa lazima itakuwa but all and to them wale ambao wataenda kujipigania. Neno inasema ya kwamba na tutulie tuwe watulivu. Kama ni ndoa iko na shida, just keep on praying and waiting upon the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa sababu sio kutoka ama sio kwenda kutafuta solution kwa wakanga na wachawi ambao itakupatia solution but wakati unavumilia Mungu kuna napenda huu Mungu sana when you are waiting upon the Lord kuna kitu Mungu anga anatengeneza Bwana Yesu asifiwe wakati tu unapatia Mungu nafasi ya kungoja hiyo hali ya kungoja as we wait God is doing something Mungu anatengeneza jambo Haleluya. Lakini wakati ambapo unajipigania katika ulimwengu kwa kiroho, uanga unaitafia na ile kazi ambayo inafanyika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. No matter what we are going through, let us be submissive. Wacha tukue watu wa kungojea Mungu afanye katika maisha yetu. And that is why you see that when unavumilia katika jambo ambalo limekutesa, hata watu wakiangalia wanaona ya kwamba umefinyilwa, but ukivumilia katika hilo jambo you come out shining. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. You come out shining. Why? Because ulipatia ulimwengu wa kiroho, ulipatia Mungu nafasi akakupigania. But ukijipigania utapata ya kwamba unaishi mahali pale and you miss your destiny. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Haleluya. 
many people are fighting for themselves haleluya wacha kujipigania ambie mwenzako wacha kujipigania wacha kujipigania deno wacha kujipigania wacha mungu akupigania no matter what you are going through let god fight for you bwana yesu asifiwe na na na, na uh, Matthew, the foolish virgins ningependa tuangalie ni wa gani ama wa watu ambao watamis heaven tabia zao ziko namna gani they, they are evil servants bwana yesu asifiwe Matthew 24:45 Hapo juu tulianza nao inasema hivi But what if the servant is evil and it, and it thinks my master won't be back for a while Ah watu wanakuwa na mioyo ambayo ni nitaita michafu ama ni mioyo iko na ushetani kila kitu wanafikiria unapata ni kiovu Juzi kuna wakati nilisimama hapa nikasema ya kwamba na wewe katika maisha yako ujichunguze kwa sababu kuna watu ambao hata wakitembea tu hata kama uko peke yako unajipata uko na uovu mwingi yani uko na hasira mingi sana ndani yako yani hata kila mawazo ambayo unafikiria ni mawazo imejaa hasira ni mawazo ambayo ni ya kufikiria wengine maovu ni mtu akiona mtu unaanza kumsikilia uovu na sasa hizi uko peke yako ndani yako mtu akivaa nguo mzuri unasikia tu uovu kwa Yesu asifiwe evil thoughts bwana yesu asifiwe evil servants haleluya let us take all evil out of our minds bwana yesu asifiwe fight other workers he begins beating the other servants patting and getting drunk hiyo ni verse 49 bwana yesu asifiwe neno inasema ya kwamba na huyu mtu kama ataanza kuwa ni mtu muovu anafikiria maovu na anaanza kupigana na wengine. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Katika siku hizi nimekuja kurealize ya kwamba sio lazima mtu akuchape ngumi ama mtu akuongelelee vibaya. Ujue Rose anani ana, ananipiga. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Watu wanakupiga kimaombi, watu wanakupiga kimawazo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yaani the, the thoughts of me, o, o, yangu mimi kama kama Charles ninamsikilia wivu Yaani yani simpendei mazuri hiyo ni vita. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Akibarikiwa yani mimi nasikia vibaya. Katika ulimwengu wa kiroho sana sana kama mimi ni baba niko na mtoto kama Trevor. Yani I'm not even happy wakati ambapo anaendelea vizuri ni kumaanisha ya kwamba katika ulimwengu wa kiroho because I have authority over him I hinder him. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nitamfunga kama ni show show ukiwa hapo na mtoto wako wakati ambapo hujamtakia mazuri ama amekukasirisha ukatamuka neno hivi ukasema na nitakuwa na kuleo goti unaona hiyo neno umesema tu hivi kwako umesema kwa kukasirika ama umesema tu kwa sababu ya matendo ya kufanyia but katika ulimwengu wa kiroho huyo mtu umemfunga bwana yesu asifiwe people are fighting others iwe ni katika kanisani iwe ni katika nyumbani bwana yesu asifiwe wacha tuache vita za kiroho ndani ya moyo katika mioyo yetu wacha mioyo yetu ikuwe misafi bwana yesu asifiwe sema hivi bwana yesu sema kwa sauti bwana yesu nichunguze moyo wangu kama kuna maovu yote ya kupinga wengine baba nitakaze baba nisamehe kama kuna mtu nimefunga na kinywa changu ndani ya moyo wangu baba nisamehe nimemfungua nimemsamehe katika jina la Yesu. Haleluya. Pigia Bwana Yesu makofi mazuri. Haleluya, haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Pulling others down. Matthew 25:18. Spiritually and the foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil for your lamps are going out. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na nikapata ujumbe ya kwamba na wale ambao walikuwa wanaombwa mafuta wangepea nao mafuta wangevurutwa chini bwana yesu asifiwe na wangepata mafuta ya kuweza kungojea bwana yesu hata katika kanisa kuna watu wako mahali pale na usipochunga watakuvuruta chini bwana yesu asifiwe watakuvuruta chini kiroho ukiingia kanisani enda katika maombi ukiwa katika nyumba yako katika kijiji ingia katika maombi wacha shughuli na watu ambao hawamjui mungu bwana yesu asifiwe kwa nini ni kwa sababu watakuvuta chini 
Haleluya. Hiyo tumafuta yako, hiyo anointing uko nayo kidogo. The more unakaa na mtu wa dunia, the more unakaa kama yeye. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu naye mwili nimeambia mwili inalewa na dhambi. Inapenda sana kusikia vizuri. Mwili inapenda eh, wakikuwa anasema wotungate roho. Wanaeswa sifu. Mwili inataka kuangaliwa and that is why you see our ladies. I love them. Unaona lakini anajipaka mika vizuri. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu mwili inakakanga hivyo. Ile mbesho ikae vizuri. Wakati unakaa nao watu wanakunyonyanga polepole. Wanaeswa sifu. Oh, unajipata ya kwamba ulikuwa mwombaji hauombi. Ulikuwa mtu unaimbia Yesu hauimbi. Na mfano mzuri ni ndugu yetu, si ndio? Sulikuwa naimba vizuri, lakini wakati ilianza kutembea na watu akaonjeshwa kadogo, akajipata ameingia ndani kabisa. Ni juzi Mungu amemuokoa tena. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hiyo ni mfano mzuri. Watu ambao unatembea na wao, they can pull you down. Spiritually, iwe ni katika kibiashara, iwe ni katika nyanja yoyote. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa sababu ukikaa na mtu wa hivyo, hata kama uko na biashara, I assure you, I assure you itaenda chini. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So let us be wise like the wise virgins. Don't share your anointing. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yesu ndiye alisema hivyo, usishie mafuta yako na wao. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu watakuvuruta chini. Hautapata ya kuweza kumgojea Bwana Yesu. Haleluya. The alarms tied. Haleluya. Hawa watu ambao ukitembea na wao kama ni kanisani utapata ya kwamba walikufa kiroho na taa zao zikakufa. So hata kila kitu atakuwa nakwambia wanakuambia kulingana na mwili na damu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ama wanakuambia kitu husu experience. Katika ulimwengu wa kiroho vile tulikuwa tunafanya 2000 ama 2010 katika ulimwengu wa kiroho sio vile iko sahihi. Kwa hivyo ukikuja na ile experience ya pale inaweza kataa kufanya kazi. Kwa nini? Even the kingdom of the devil naona watu ambao wametoka wameokoka ambao walikuwa kiabudu shetani wanasema ya kwamba technology katika kurikrut watu iko very high. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Zingine hata hazijafika katika huu ulimwengu. Inafanyika katika kuzimu. So that is why I'm saying even in the kingdom of God is advancing. Wewe unaweza nunua tu kitu ukiona ni ya urembo na hiyo kitu imekukurikrut. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hiyo kitu ndio inakuwa inakupinga. Imagine na nuno umetumia pesa yako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So, the alarms tied spiritually they are dead. So be careful they can pull you down. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sitting on the talents. Hapo tumesema watu wa Taranta verse 25. Ah uh, Neno inasema ya kwamba yule mmoja alipatua talanta moja alienda akaificha na wakati aliulizwa akamwambia aje 25 25 25 and i was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground look there you have what is yours and cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness there will be weeping and gnashing of of teeth bwana yesu asifiwe ni kumaanisha ya kwamba ukiwa katika ulimwengu wa kiroho Mungu hajakuita kukaa chini kazi yako ni kuja kusikia neno na unaenda nyumbani afahamu neno inasema ya kwamba huyu alificha kuficha hii talanta ni kama Mkristo ambaye ameokoka lakini kazi yake tu ni kukaa hakuna kitu anafanya hata katika nyumba ya Mungu hakuna kitu anaweza fanya anakujanga anasikia neno anaenda nyumbani anaendelea na biashara Sunday the same hivyo 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 hiyo ni kukalia talanta Bwana Yesu asifiwe lakini Matthew 28:19 nasemanga go ye and make disciples. Na nasemanga ya kwamba to make disciples si lazima uende pale uende one on one. Bwana Yesu asifiwe katika ile yote Mungu amekuita you are supposed to be winning souls. Mungu alisema ya kwamba ametutuma ametutuma tuwe we we we, 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 we levu, kama nyoka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe Kusema ni welevu kama nyoka ni kumaanisha ya kwamba katika ili niko kazini ninajua hii kazi siwezi ubiri but kuna welevu ninaweza tumia nikahubiri mahali pale na nilidhi watu kwa Kristo nilikuwa nasema nini watu wakikalia taranta utapata ya kwamba kusimu wataenda neno ndivyo imesema hapo ya kwamba watafungiwa nje watasiaga meno Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo neno inatufunza aswi wait for christ waiting for christ si kusema sasa nimeokoka 
Nimesimama mahali hapa nasikia neno tu naenda nyumbani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let us be doing something in the kingdom of God. Neno inasema na huyu mmoja alimote pray ikakuwa mara tano zaidi. Na neno inasema ya kwamba aliambiwa chukua endelea nayo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kumaanisha ya kwamba wakati ambapo unavua nafsi ama unaleta manufaa katika nyumba ya Mungu wakati unatoa siti unaimbia Mungu watu wengine wanabarikiwa na guswa watu wanaokoka katika hiyo siti utaiuza Bwana Yesu asifiwe na itakuja kukubariki venye aliwapatia talanta na kuambia enda nayo Bwana Yesu asifiwe the same when you are working for Christ Bwana Yesu asifiwe benefit ni kwako haleluya So let us not sit on our talents. Let us be doing something in the house of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Let us not be uh, have the, the, the spirit of a Pharisee. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna instant in, uh, kuna phrases mingi sana katika Biblia na Yesu alikuwa anachukizwa sana na mafarisayo. Kwa nini mafarisayo? Mafarisayo ni kwa sababu wanamwabudu Mungu, wanasema Mungu ainuliwe bado wamemkata ama wamepinga roho mtakatifu nikimalizia katika maisha yako usikuwe kama farisayo the pharisees spirit ambayo wanamkubali Mungu lakini wanakata roho mtakatifu na hata mahali pale unaangalia mara kwingi sana si kwamba walikuwa wanakuja kusikia injili ila Yesu anahubiri walikuwa wanakuja wanakaa mahali pale kupima wanaangalia na huyu Yesu hii kitu anasema ni ukweli na wengine wanamuuliza maswali. Na sasa iko hivi, huyu 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 tumempata saa hii life life. Ayusha hata kama wangekuwa na, 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 na simu za siku hizi, wangepeleka vitu wamuonyeshe ndiye huyu. Wakashika mama, huyu ndiye huyu. Tumempata akifanya umalaya. Nene ya Musa inasema kama huyu tumpige mawe. We Yesu unasema namna gani? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wewe kama mwanafunzi wa Yesu Kristo, tuache mambo ya kupigana na Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kupingana na Yesu namna gani? Unaezaona Pastor Dennis. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wewe unaanza kumpinga. Unaezaona Charles wakati anaimbia Mungu, wakati anafanya kazi ya Mungu, wakati ambapo unapompinga, sio Charles, asonga si anafanya kazi ya Mungu, sio ye unapinga, ni Yesu ambaye amemtuma. Na neno ikatuambia ya kwamba na wale ambao nimewatuma mahali pale na yule ambaye atakaye kukataa ni kama amenikataa hivyo ndivyo aliambia wanafunzi wa Yesu Bwana Yesu asifiwe roho ya mafarisayo imetawala watu wengi sana hata makanisani unapata mtu wako pale lakini kazi yake tu ni kungoja kusikiza mhubiri vile anasema kuangalia pasta Mwai anaendelea namna gani anaongea namna gani kumtoa makosa Bwana Yesu asifiwe katika safari ya juu mbinguni sio wakati wa kutoana makosa ni wakati wa kusubmit to the power of the Holy Spirit. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni kwa sababu nikuja ku realize kwa nini hao mafarisayo walikuwa tu wanampinga Yesu. Unajua ni kwa nini? Kwa sababu they have never experienced the power and the joy of the Holy Spirit. Hawa watu hajajazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Wa kitu yao tu ni sheria. Sheria, sheria. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na ndiposa Yesu akawaambia ya kwamba I am the only way. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hata kama utatimiza sheria zote. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Siku mimi ni mingi ni zaidi ya mia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hata kama utatimiza zote, hauwezi ukaenda juu mbinguni. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu sio kwa sheria ni kupitia Yesu Kristo. Wakati ambapo unamkiri Yesu, Yesu mimi ni mwokozi wangu. Romans 10:8 yasema, by faith tukiamini na tukiri na kinywa changu ya kwamba mimi nimeokoka na namkubali Yesu you claim the life of Christ in you hapo ndipo kupata uzima wa milele Bwana Yesu asifiwe tuache roho ya farisayo kama tuko katika safari ya kwenda juu mbinguni kama tunamkochea Bwana Yesu as we are preparing for the wedding of Christ Bwana Yesu asifiwe sisi kama mwili wa Kristo sisi kama bibi arusi tunangojea Yesu Kristo hayo mambo ambao nimesema hapo tuachane nayo na zaidi ya yote nikimaliza nimesema roho ya farisayo let us tushikane na huyu Yesu kama tuko kwa Yesu tufanye tabia za Yesu tusikae kama Peter Peter alimkataa Bwana Yesu asifiwe wakati aliingia katika jaribio lakini mtu akamwambia Peter wewe si nilikuona na huyu Yesu jana akamwambia mimi hapana Bwana Yesu asifiwe 
Hivyo ndivyo wakristo wengi wako siku hizi. Kwa sababu nataka raha za dunia. Kwa sababu kuna kitu utaki kupite. Kuna kadiru utaki kupite. Wana mkana Yesu. Wana Yesu asifiwe. Hata we hata kutembea kwako tu. Tunona we ni kama Yesu. Kwa hivyo. I'm feeling that the Lord alone. Let's just stand and say that and, and tell God that is all that matters in our life. Just stand in your phone and feet and tell God that it's all that matters. It's all that matters in your life. Let's stand as we welcome the preacher. Just tell God that it is all that matters in your life. Tell God that it's all that matters in your life. Nothing else matters in your life. He's all that matters in your life. You are all that matters to you. You worship you, Father. You are all that matters to you. Hallelujah. Baba, tunakushukuru, tunasamani ya sati. Wewe tiye mungu wetu, wewe tiye baba yetu. Wewe tuna mwingine kimbili oletu, tegeme oletu, msaada wetu nwewe buwana. Tuna kuitaji katika siki ya leo buwana. Mungu wa kinywa chako kambia baba unamuitaji. Ambia mungu roo yako inamuitaji. Hakuna kitu na weza bila buwana. Baba tunamuitaji, tunakuriria. O malika taba yanda la wabuziki. Hebra soko tori kato ushali kata baria Baba tunakui touch Kama kanisa baba tunakui touch Baba tunakui touch Santo tunakui touch Oh wakuna mwingine buwana mtakakifu ni wecho We worship you father we say thank you Holy spirit of God tunakui touch There's nothing we can minister without you We worship you We worship you Take over father Take over Holy spirit of God Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pick your praise and worship my coffee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hii ni mzuri, asumbui ukitembea. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. sifa. Ndani yangu nasikia machozi inamwagika. Kwa nini? Kuna, kuna ujumbe nilikuwa nimetayarisha hapo. Lakini Mungu amenipatia ujumbe mwingine. Na wakati roho wa Mungu amekuwa akinipeleka kuhusu hiyo ujumbe my heart is bleeding. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa nini? The topic is preparing the bride of Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Jameni keyboard keyboard. Bwana uh, Yesu asifiwe. Kuna mambo mingi jameni. Tunaishi katika hii dunia. Nikana kwamba we are confident about tomorrow. Yaani kesho we are sure of tomorrow. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I want you to to erase that in your mind today. Na ukaambia Mungu ya kwamba sikia leo katika haya masaa Nina ishi bwana aya ndia ambayo umenipatia Bwana Yesu asifiwe katika maisha yetu tunafaa kukaa tukiwa tumejipanga ni kwa sababu kuna watu wengi ambao wamepangia siku ya kesho ama siku ya leo lakini hawajaiona Bwana Yesu asifiwe lakini nakucha nikuulize siku ya leo je umejitayarisha kumpokea Bwana Yesu haleluya Bwana Yesu asifiwe preparing for the pride Bwana Yesu asifiwe Che umejipanga Hallelujah Revelation chapter 19 I thank you Holy Spirit of God Revelation chapter 19 verse 7 says Preparing the bride of Christ Hallelujah We are the bride that Christ is God Let us be glad and rejoice And let us give honor to him So the time has come For the wedding feast of the Lamb And his bride has prepared herself. She has been given the finest of pure white linen to wear. For the fine linen represents the good deeds, hallelujah, of God's holy people. And the angel said to me, write this, blessed are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. And he added, these are two words that come from God. Yani hayo ni maneno ambayo itakuja kutimia 
na imetoka katika kinywa cha Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Matthew 22 verse 11. Are you chosen? But when the king came into the meet, uh, uh, in to meet the guest, he noticed a man who was wearing the proper clothes for wedding. Friend, he asked, how is it that you are here without wedding clothes? But the man had no reply. Then the king said to his aides, bind the, his hands and feet and throw him into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth for many are called but few are chosen Bwanesu asifiwe wengi wameitwa lakini few are chosen ni kidogo wamechaguliwa Bwanesu asifiwe ambi auliza jirani are you called or you are chosen Uliza jinani yako are you chosen Bwana Yesu asifiwe Ndugu mpendwa mahali ambapo tumesoma neno inasema ya kwamba ni wakati moja ambapo uh, uh, one king aliweza ku prepare uh, 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 inaitwa nini harusi uh, 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 na neno inasema ya kwamba sijasoma hapo juu ndio nakuelezea vile inasema lakini neno inasema ya kwamba wakati ile harusi imeandalika na kila kitu kikawekwa juu ya meza na katuma watu wakaende pale kama vile tunaendanga kuhubiri pale kwa, kwa street evangelism na akawaambia ya kwamba ebu endeni mahali pale sasa mkaalike watu wale ambao nilikuwa nimewaalika katika hii harusi ili waje kwa sababu prayer to that alikuwa ametuma invitation bwana yesu asifiwe lakini kwa masikitiko makubwa neno inasema ya kwamba na wakati wale watu walienda mahali pale neno inasema ya kwamba wale watu who were invited ambao walitumiwa barua waliweza kuwashika wakawaua bwana yesu asifiwe wengine wakatumwa bado wakaweza kuangamiza na wakakataa kuingia katika ile harusi bwana yesu asifiwe lakini neno inasema ya kwamba na huyu mfalme akawaambia sasa endeni katika street katika barabara katika pembeni katika vicholocholo yote ambaye mtampata mahali pale mkamweze kumwalika katika hii harusi bwana yesu asifiwe ndugu mpendwa hivyo ndivyo ambavyo kumeendelea katika dunia siku hizi neno vile imesema ya kwamba ni watu wengi ambao walikuwa na mwito neno inasema ya kwamba Yesu alikuja kwa sababu ya wayahudi lakini wale wakaweza kumkataa hivyo ndivyo watu wengi katika ulimwengu siku ya leo wameitwa na Mungu lakini wamemkataa ndipo unaona Yesu ya kwamba anatutuma katika street katika vijiji tukaende kuhudhuria watu wakaweze kumpokea katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Are you called or are you chosen? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Na neno inasema hapo mahali ambapo tumemalizia ya kwamba kuna mtu mmoja alipatikana katika ile harusi akiwa hana nguo. Katika historia ya harusi wakati ule kulikuanga na mavazi. Ni kama vile unaona katika mazishi watu wanavanga nguo za black. Lakini siku zile kulikuanga na garments specifically za harusi. Na neno inasema ya kwamba wakati mwe, mwenye harusi alikuja akaona mtu ambaye hana nguo za harusi na akamuuliza rafiki umeingia hapa namna gani jameni hakuweza kumjibu Bwana Yesu asifiwe na neno inasema ya kwamba na akamshika akaambia wale wafanyikazi ambao ni malaika kwa siku hizi wakamshike na wakamweke huko nje katika moto ambao atasiaga meno Bwana Yesu asifiwe ndugu mpendwa uko mali hapa pengine unakuchanga kanisani kila siku usije ukawe kama yule mtu neno inasema ya kwamba hakuwa na mavazi katika safari ya juu mbinguni kuna mavazi ambayo unafaa ukawe nayo na ni mavazi ya utakatifu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ndugu mpendo watu wengi wanacheza na dunia wanacheza na mambo ya